Hello and welcome back to my let's play on to the Warfare Kingdom. So Shima Young on Legendary Difficulty. The last time we left off, we had declared war on Sima Lun, fought him in battle twice, and he has been defeated. He does still live though, didn't kill him off entirely. Um, but we are on our way to defeating his entire faction. He's got three, four towns left over just over here. We have taken this one in the corner now. Our army is a bit beaten up, but I am going to have to move immediately. And I think if I sprint, I'll be able to get to the Copper Mine next turn. So I think that's the plan. I would like to get one more turn of replenishment in, to be honest, but... Uh, I mean, there's no way he's going to have a full stack there. Let's just go for it. Watch him have a full stack. He's got some insane movement, by the way. I maybe shouldn't have moved that far, because now I can easily... If there is an army there, he could probably attack me. There's also this army here, um, which has a trebuchet. It's a, bit, it's a pretty scary army, actually. It doesn't appear to have uh, explosive shots, or maybe it just doesn't tell me. Like, yeah, it doesn't have anything. Okay, well, that's good. I'm going to have to sprint into the far my farmland to make sure I don't lose it. I'm assuming he's going to not attack anymore. But if he does, my army is in forced march stance, but we still have the garrison, which is rather large as well. So I think we'll be okay. Um, I need to get uh, 19 additional prestige before uh, 7 turns are out. So hopefully I'll be able to make that happen too. That would be very nice. Because that way I can level up, and then when we lose all the other prestige stuff, it doesn't matter because we're already leveled up. I don't actually know. I, maybe you can downgrade. I, I actually <laughs> okay. But then would what would the point be in actually having extra prestige? I assume you can't downgrade. I, maybe you can be like, um, no, I guess it. No, yeah, it doesn't matter. I suppose it, I suppose it's fine. Diplomatically annexing the Jin Empire if it is your vassal. Oh wow, I need to make the Jin Empire a vassal and then fucking annexing the shit out of them. Or not. Uh, anyway, we have an assignment we can do. Uh, probably going to put him in again to do that minus construction time, which is pretty sweet, to be honest. can always also use you for your lack of purpose going away, but I don't know. Man, I don't know. Let's just go for uh, food buildings being built quicker. Let's see where we want to build more buildings, because there's a bunch of provinces that have a bunch of food buildings that need to get upgraded, but nothing... I feel where I have tons. This would be a great one in this city here, but we don't have that city yet. Like, all of the stuff we have is like level 2 or 3, so it's not really a huge deal either way. This needs to get removed at some point. I did, yeah, I said I was going to do that. Maybe I should do it now. It's time, I think. Lose some money, but that's okay. Like, this is 2, so I feel like this would probably be more, more, one of the more likely places where I need to do it. So let's just shove you in there. Get the fuck in there. That needs to get upgraded to level 3. Just got a better garrison, so maybe that's what I'll do now. Not that I need a garrison there, but it's still useful to have regardless. I also upgraded some other things which I now can't do anything with. Can I build anything? No, I can't. I do, however, have this available. We lost, got the food production here. I don't care about that, but are the upgrades after that better? Building up keeps okay. Eh, nothing insane. I mean, the last one is good, but I'd have to get through a bunch of mess stuff to get there, so I'm not too worried about that. What I would consider, however, is that, I guess, would be the upgraded versions of that, maybe? Is that the same building change? I'm not sure. Maybe. Actually, we can just see comedy. Grand State Workshops, Artisan Workshops, Government Provincial Workshops. No, I think those are different buildings. Um... Sorry. Oh yeah, see, there you go. Those are the upgrades of that. Grand Treasure. No, I don't know if that is even... I'm, uh, I might be wrong all time. All, all, all entirely. Okay. Right. Um, there's some okay stuff in there. Unit uh, unlocks would be okay, but I'm not too worried about it. There's nothing here that I really need. I mean, I should have a look, though. A repeater crossbowman I don't give a shit about. Saber infantry. You could fuck right off. Uh, replenishment. That would probably be a good thing to go for. So maybe we'll go for that building. Military supplies is meh. I don't care about anything other than this replenishment there. More replenishment there and the Jade Dragons. J Onyx Dragons, sorry. Don't care about the heavy repeating crossbows. Oh, that's the horse pastures, right. And then there's the Jade. Or heavy, oh, heavy Getter Facts all the way over here. What the fuck? And there there's the Protectors of Earth or Protectors of Heaven, Defenders of Earth. Okay, Pearl Dragons. Um, Azure Dragons, what the fuck, I'm getting all these names mixed up right now. Okay, right, well there's nothing that's particularly amazing, I gotta say, so I guess I don't care what I go for, for being honest. Um, 
So I suppose, yeah, there's replenishment then. Retinue upkeep's not bad, but we can't even get there yet until we get to Grand Prince, which, by the way, we are getting close to, so... Let's uh, let's do that one first. I'm not going to actually set, set both of them, because I I've, might, in five turns, have Grand Prince unlocked, so I need to be careful that I don't go too far in that. Right. Uh, I could do Diplomacy, but I'm not too worried about it. I do wonder, actually. Let me have a, uh, let me have a look here. Why you? I can't, I can't vassalize anyone yet. Never mind. Hold on. I was going to say, I would... Unless the Jin Empire becomes your vassal when you take the Emperor's seat, but I don't think so. Okay, free people are getting really close to piecing out of him now. I may need to... Yeah, I may actually have... I may actually piece out of him and then I'll have to declare war on him individually, which probably makes me treacherous, but... Ugh, I don't know. Why doesn't it have to be unanimous? That'd be great. Uh, I will not take an aggression with you. You are at war with my greatest friend. I'm so sorry. But that is the way the cookie doff crumble. Maybe I can take two more towns before we peace out with him. Uh, yep. Sure. Another vassal for him. That's not good. Are you gonna do fucking you want shouts going on here? Oh shit, does that mean he's a grand prince already? We should have a look at that. Maybe it's a special thing that he can make people vassals. Chu Yan. Shit, that's the guy I'm trading with. Why did you get a clear war on him? Satisfaction. Good. Ooh, have a look at that in a sec. Wait, let me first of all check. Prince, Prince, Prince. Grand Prince, there you go. So yeah, he's actually up there already. Prince, Prince, Prince. Well, I'll probably be second on the Grand Prince train, but I'm not sure, sure about that yet. You are just a generic dude. Pretty shit one of that. Well, not terrible, but, you know. Yeah, no. Wu Qian. Not too terrible, I suppose, but... Ooh, Sima Zhang. You're a coward. Get the fuck out of here. Honest for Zhang Dan. Let's fucking diplomacy shit out of here. Right. Um, coin maker. So that should have increased my income a little bit again. We're on 3,500 per turn now. That's not bad. Um, then we've got a small city upgrade here, right, so this is going to be Marketplace for now. And I demolished the building here, that's going to be the military infrastructure. Okay, we still got a whole bunch of money left over. First of all, let's take this here copper mine. No army, good. I'm going to have to fight this one manually now. And really hope that they come sallying out, which I, would be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. Which would suck. Let's not forget about my cab this time. That'd be pretty important too for this to work out well. Yeah, I need to make. I need to take this, and hopefully I'll be able to take more before we peace out with him. Because that kind of, I kind of rely on taking more stuff to get my prestige up so I can become Grand Prince. But I think I will take the trustworthy hits if I have to. If I have to declare war on him, yeah, this is definitely where we're attacking. Good, good call. Um, if I have to take a hit to my prestige, uh, if that means we go to war of him, I will take that. I will take the ring to Mordor. Alright, pocket the cabin here. You guys up front, you behind. Actually, put you back again. And you on explosive shots. Firing right there. All right, are you? Nope, don't move, just attack. They're not moving towards me. Damn it, I've seen that before. All right, well, fire in. Nope, not on that unit. In that general direction right there, please. Hopefully, I can do enough damage to make them come towards me. If not, we can always blow up the towers if I absolutely have to. I would prefer having them just come towards me, to be honest. Couple routes. I don't have that much ammo though. Yeah. Decent amount, I suppose. Doing a lot of damage, just not actually getting close to riding anyone. We did do oh, we did destroy a tower already. That's good. Accidentally, but that that is good, because that means I just gotta destroy one more for me to actually be able to get in there and start 
crossbow the shit out of them. In fact, let's make sure I do destroy the other one as well. Good experience for him for my general or for my uh, cover, uh, my artillery down. Oh, Jeez, I can't speak. You want to fire that unit now? I think okay, we've broken almost everything. There's still a bunch of cab over here, and there's that unit there as well. But why don't we actually? Oh no, we got that. Stop! 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 Make sure not to waste our last bit of ammo. Uh, no. Let's have you fire at him, and then why don't you try firing at that? I don't know if that's angle is even possible. No, you're moving. Oh, you're firing now. So maybe this. No, you're moving again. Okay, you're out of ammo. You're moving again. Why do you keep moving and then deciding to fire and then like, wait a second, we can't fire from here. Let's move some more. And they're like, oh yeah, we can fire from here. No, 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 we can't. We can't actually. Sorry, we gotta move a little bit further. Can we fire from here? Mm, no, no, we can't actually. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I thought we had a shot, but uh, can we fire from here though? No, no, <laughs> no, that's not it. No, but I think from here we can definitely fire. No, I'm sorry, but actually I was I was wrong. Okay, fine. Enough of a joke. Uh, let's get you guys up here. How much ammo have you got left? 16% now? It's another volley or two. There's the cab. Fucking fire at them. Although they appear to be in loose formation. They can't be in loose formation. You're out of ammo. Alright. Uh, I might want to bring my generals up that way too. And so I'll get my cab around here as well, actually. Right, crossbows are gonna have a field day firing at these dudes. That was actually a good unit to fire at, although we missed most of our shots, unfortunately. Murder that unit, please. Yes, turn away from me while I fire at you. That's very kind of you. I'm gonna run out of ammo very quickly here, but we're gonna be done here very quickly as well. There they go. We are out of ammo on one of our units. Yeah, fire away, why not? There we go. Okay. It's like, fuck it, just waste it. Um... Let's get over there. I would use my generals all the way, but they are a bit low, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Although, oh, there's another infantry unit. Well, can't say I realized that. Oh yeah, we got Binding Fury now, sweet. I could ride this unit by doing this, but I want to make sure there's some other units in range as well. You guys are, these guys are a bit low, so I don't really want to have them do all the work here, to be honest. I should have made sure that my units were at least lined up. But it looks like we're going to be okay. Okay, we almost have a mass route going here, actually, but I think that might just be from the debuff. Don't, what are you charging? Don't just stand there. You don't have to charge in. What are you doing? You can come over here for the debuff, though. You can use that one again as well at some point. Do you? No, you only increase. Alright, they should go down pretty quickly. Seeing uh, some almost routing stuff happening. Get in there, charge! That should be all, all of them gone. There we go. Now it's just that unit there. Oh no, there's two more, three more in fact. Oh, I thought, oh fuck, oopsie. Because I kept charging them in, oops, that was, uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Damn. I lost a few hundred men, or not a few hundred, I lost a few men there. A dozen men, probably. A few dozen men. For no reason. They charged straight into my uh, unbraced units. Alright, there we go. Yeah, see, when they don't come out, uh, kimmy out, when they don't sally out, it becomes a much more difficult battle to fight, but it was still fine. I'm glad we blew up one of the towers just by, def by accident, basically. 
Yeah, 600, almost 700 kills between the two trebuchets is not something to write home about, really. But it's okay. It's okay. So that should be another 5 prestige. So we're getting closer. Oh, never mind. That was it. What the fuck? How did that get me to Grand Prince? 5 prestige. Oh my god, it's level 5 down. That one gives corruption. Can we... I need artisans. Damn. Got 2 grand from that. Reach the faction of Grand Prince. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're not actually there yet, but we are. Okay, sure. Yep, recruit that guy. Oh, that just gave me a low satisfaction. Maybe we should fire him again. Uh, or her, him, her. Yes, you're her. Uh, okay. Yeah. We also have several other people that I have no idea what they're doing here, to be honest. You are... If you were a sentinel, you'd be great. Who are you? Like, what are you doing in my faction? I don't think I ever hired you. You're also quite good. Did I hire you though? I think you, yeah, you're the you're the person I kept around because you got some pretty good traits. Oh yes, because I ranked up, I can do that now, so I can actually get higher satisfaction overall. Pretty good. Um, yeah, get rid of you as well. Right. Administrator, we can get more food from you. That's not bad. You need to do something, but your things are horrible. Absolutely horrible. Although you, I think you're the person who got. I don't know, you just lack of fucking purpose. Meh. I thought you are the person who had that minus 20. To be fair, I still have minus 10 from the event, so when that goes away, we should be okay regardless. I do want Grand com Commandant. Commandant. Uh, that gives me recruitment cost reduction. That one gives me industry income. Well, you're pretty fucking unhappy, so you should definitely get one of these two things. So we'll give you, um, give you that one. And if for some reason this guy dies at some point, I'll probably pop you in there if you haven't died yet at that point. Right, uh, recruitment cost, I'm not too worried about it, but uh, on the other hand, with this game, it, we don't really pay a lot for uh, new salary, so I'm not really worried about it. An extra 25 bucks, I think we can afford. So, we'll make this one. Should have put him in there, to be honest, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, who's the best here? I can't see these guys. But, I mean, the food production is probably the best one. And I guess since you're so unhappy, I could put you in this ground, ground commandant. You got zero change. Wow, never mind. It's like you don't even want it. 24, 24, 24. Okay, so it'd be... Not you, because I need you. Shi Wei? I guess he's pretty unhappy right now. I don't think I care about him as a character yet, though. So. Well, he's doing all the trait, the assignment stuff, so I guess that's okay. You get 0, 0, 24. You're the only person who gets something from it, so sure, we'll do that. And then we'll go wherever we have the highest food production. It's either Anping or Bohai. It is probably Anping, although we have some other towns. Oh, we must already have people in the other towns that have. Yeah, whatever. Let's just take uh, on ping then. Should be good. Alright, so now we should have high overall satisfaction again, I'd hope. Especially when that goes away. So BR, it's 290 out of 500, but that somehow got me there. That definitely seems like a bug, but alright. Um, I'll take it. So now I can vassalize people. Does anyone want to be my vassal? Just, you know, why not, right? Maybe. Whoa, holy shit. What would I... Uh, it's difficult to get there, but... I think worth exploring those options. Can become a vassal, no thanks. Uh, can do more trade, yes. Yes, see my way. That's probably a good one to get trade with. Also the most valuable one. So yeah, why don't we trade, friend? Yeah, and I just got some good money as well. Give me it. Got any more ancillaries than I want? No, no more. Oh, that's, that's all the money you have. Okay, fair enough. You don't, <laughs> you don't strike me as a rich man, per se. Wait, what was that jump? Yeah, that's actually better. Getting a little bit instantly. Um, unless you have territory that I want. Do 
trade port. Well, the trade port would probably mean I can't trade with him anymore. So, what about this farm line? How much is that worth to you? Way too much. I'll take this. Um, yeah, so that's my trade done. We're still trading with the Jin Empire. Right, so does the Jin Empire have any ever maybe here? Nope. Can I actually... Yeah, you can make him your vassal. But it's currently just a straight up no. Uh, also, vassalizing him. Hold on. Does that actually work with the victory condition? Then annex or destroy all other factions. So I'm assuming... Annexing means I have to... Does, yeah, I guess that doesn't mean vassalize, right? So I have to... Well, if they are my vassal, I could then annex them, I suppose. I wouldn't mind him being my vassal. Oh my, my income, income's gone up a lot. Uh, we've already got some corruption reduction or something. No, we didn't yet. Oh no, we don't. We never get that. That satisfaction we get. Um, I do have another assignment slot available as well. Wait, what is that bar there? There's a small bar. The red one. The, the, in front of the big bar. I wonder what that means. Can I actually go down on rank again? I hope I hope I cannot. Uh, either way. Get out of here. Another great glaive, another military instructor. Okay. If I had a third army, I'm sure these things would be useful. So yeah, we got another assignment available, but I have no one I can really put in that's actually any good. Maybe your lack of purpose goes away, but I'm not even sure if it does. Um... Having said that, I think I will do it anyway. So where are we making lots of money? I've got a level up as well. For you. You want to get down here. So that when you become a commander, you got some good shit. Uh, right, so where do we have a lot of income from commerce? I think only over here, really. And we have some towns to give me commerce income, but... 100 and die. 100 and hadong. 120 in Ping Yuang. 100, nope. 120 is currently the highest. 260, yeah, that's probably the one. Yubei Ping, yeah, that is exactly the one that I said. I was right after all. Okay, so right here, do this, please. Okay. Okay. Um, right, so they went back in there, unfortunately. I could actually reach that town. I could also reach this farmland. Uh, you can't do anything, but yeah, if I go take the farmland right now, then they might come and attack me here. And then you can go take that, and then we can d both go on over there. If he wants to go take my farmland, then we just do a trade from farm to farm. I think I'd be okay with that. So yeah, I think you are going to take that farmland right now. Right about meow. But first. Right, we have to consider also, uh, yeah, this, far this, this copper mine. We need artisans. Before I can convert that. And when we convert it, we got minus 4% corruption faction wide, which is really good. So I definitely want that. And I'm kind of tempted to keep this the way it is. Do I have the things required for this? Taoist alchemy. No. See, there's another problem. If I were to. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, actually, this is that that would be fine, wouldn't it? We can downgrade it, and then when we get the... Because then we get a lot more money out of it. We get 400 instead of 133. But then I'll have to pay like 5 grand to upgrade it, so that would probably still not be worth it. So I just have to hope I get artisans soon enough. Or what is it? Yeah, artisans. Okay, that's okay. That's, yeah, that's okay. That's okay, guys. It's okay. That's alright. It's, it's okay. Let's get that. And we got loads of buildings to upgrade right now. Let's get um, that one. Let's get together then. Don't want that. I guess we'll get this one. The cheaper one. And one turn for extra two, one food and bigger garrison. Nah. Oh yeah, we did put the guy in here, so yeah, we did want to upgrade something here. So let's get that one right now. And that's most of the money. Still got something I can do here. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Why not? Cool. And then we have one unhappy person. Suck it. I could also go here, 
Because this actually has a full stack. I don't know what the kind of garrison they've got here. There might actually be an army in there too. Ooh, that could be risky. Hold on. If I go with this army and take this farmland, they could take their both armies and attack me here. That would be bad if there is an army in there. Which there might be, but I don't know. There likely will be though. There also might be an army in here. Let's find out, shall we? There's there's an army in here. That's fine though. And there's no army in there. So I'll, I'll gladly kill the small army off here. Uh, yeah, no night, at night attack. This is uh, Sima Fu. Sima, fuck you. He's very angry now. Uh, do you want to surrender? No. Well. <laughs> your mistake, my friend. Let's murder them real quick. Okay. Thanks, Dong Bao Ting. Where that be Bao Ching? I don't know. Sometimes I get the names, and sometimes I'm like, wait, how is this pronounced again? Let's forget all of it. Everything I've learned. Airfang. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I should use the. Um, the crossbows in that formation more often actually, the more blocky formation. They had a unit of cav, I believe. What is the first battle with this uh, army actually, I just realized. I had, I've had him before in one battle. Oh yeah, you have to range block chance upon this as well, which I definitely should be using. Right, my cav, I should probably make sure. This army is identical to the other one, minus the cav. It's the only thing that's different, I believe. And of course, the experience and the characters, blah, blah, but you know what I mean. Don't be so fucking annoying, all right? Let's triple speed this for a bit. Let's blow him up with our traps, which are gonna be incredibly inaccurate. Yes. I do believe you're right. And I too am worried about that. A whole bunch of missing going on, I love it. I love that super inaccurate shooting in the beginning. But even then, having explosive shot just makes them so much better regardless. Uh, let's get you around here for a sec. For just a wee second. Should be getting to level 2 soon though, I imagine. Uh, I'm sure I could beat you. But nah, I'm gonna use that range block chance. Ability. I'll duel you with my champion. Oh, he actually wants to do that. Wait, sh should I? <laughs> You're geared up. You are geared up to some degree. Eh, I'll still take you. I don't have any buffs though, or any abilities. Do you have to? You have to wait to debuff him. All right, so let's run back a little bit and then duel him. Right, you need to do this now. No. But I will duel you with my other boy. He's pushing a fucking trebuchet around. Did you see that, by the way? Alright, now that should take place close enough to her, so that the debuffing will happen. They charge straight in. Nice. Well done. Cavalry. Get in here! Start firing at that unit because the ranged block chance for covering all of them. Napoleon. You guys hear that too when he's on it. Napoleon. I may have just hearing things. I don't know. Uh, you are winning it, despite not having any acne. Any, uh, despite not having any active abilities. Let's just do something. Just figure it out, man. See if I care. Got some charges in the back of all this stuff now. We've dealt, dealt with this uh, archer stuff pretty well. This is a garrison, so we don't have to murder everything entirely. Oh wow, you actually won the duel quite convincingly. I'm happy with that. You did, you've, you've done well. I mean, it was a commander, but no active abilities. No debuffs from her or anything, except for the debuff of ability uh, cooldown, but still. That's not huge. Oh, you have to go around this little farm. Great. Fucking great. Nice, you've done it. That should hopefully be, yes, a mass ride right there. Victory!
Didn't actually level. Well, I leveled up with one of them. This one got two. This I never get that about this game. This one got 212 kills. This one got 210. They both haven't been in battle before. The one with less kills leveled up. The other one, the one with more kills didn't. How does that work? Please explain. <laughs> there must be something that determines that. I've seen it happen before. It doesn't seem to make any sense. You'd assume it was like this, you know, this exact scale where you, you kill one guy, you get an experience or something like that. Like, you, it's not like, oh, you have a chance of getting two or a chance of getting one or like... It doesn't, that doesn't seem right, but anyway. Alright, I very much doubt he's going to come over and attack me here, but he might go towards my farm there. Are we... Uh, we're now actually five points away from technically being Grand Prince, which we somehow already are. Oh, I was looking at vassals, though. I was looking at vassalizing people. I should have a look at that again. Sima Liang, for example. 23.1. I have to guarantee his autonomy. And paying a whole bunch of money now. I don't want to do that, but... Like, Sima Ying. I feel like vassalizing him would be pretty cool. He's actually a rather large faction. Wait, what? He did lo he's losing this war against Sima Yi again, it seems. A fucking item, eight food, guaranteeing his autonomy. Yeah, I want to avoid guaranteeing autonomy, because I need to at some point annex. According to the victory condition. Who else? There's some minor factions on there as well. Cao Huan. Distant relative? No, not happening. Run Yi. No. This lady who broke trade with me because her town got taken. What a shitty excuse, by the way. Um, no. Nah. We can make his, we can become his vassal, but I don't really have any reason to do that. Military access. Nah, I think we're good. Oh shit, there's a load more people here that want non-aggression pacts. Well, I say damn you all. I do want to f sell some food, perhaps. I have... A decent amount of it and I should give it to other people seems like everyone has a decent amount though you start in food provinces how do you not have more food right now I don't really want to deal with you because you are the enemy of my friends but you can give me a good deal I might just be so inclined okay hold on let's see where my jumps stop right there right yep Seven food for 233. Yeah. Uh, it's not terrible. Yeah, let's do it. I'm dealing with the enemy of my friend, so Sima Wei won't like me for it, but trees are enemies, yeah. Sorry, mate. I gotta... Gotta give rid of my food somewhere. I'm giving you five for a five for hundred. That's a terrible deal. Okay, our food deal right now. You don't really care for food, but you probably are rich. So you might still be able to give me some for little food. It's probably like... Uh, yeah, 0.1 per food. That's okay. You still wouldn't give me a pretty decent deal here. Yeah, 416 maybe? 470? Can we get that out of it? 480? My god. 475. That's a good round number. It's not round actually, but whatever. 470 then. 470 for 10 food. I think that's a pretty solid deal as well. Yeah, he doesn't see he doesn't put a lot of value in my food. I mean he has a lot of money, so he'll give me a lot of money for it, but I won't be able to trade the towns for just the food. Like I, I just can't make that happen because he has too much Um He doesn't he doesn't value my food high enough for that. But he values it highly as in he has a lot of money to spare, so he'll give me a ton of money for it. Which means we're now on... Uh, yeah, oh, that didn't change anymore. 5.3 grand per turn income with two full stacks. So definitely could start thinking about affording another army at some point. Still trading with them as well, by the way. Uh, I think the final thing I actually want to check before ending this turn is how difficult it would be to vassalize them. 99, but it's 199 because it's an unreasonable offer. <laughs> I guess, okay, I need to be much stronger than them for that to happen. Could also, of course, go straight south and take the... Uh, I have now, I'm now Grand Prince, so I now actually have a solid chance of taking it, I believe. I've also got a chance of being offered the um, Regency, I believe, was it? Uh, large chance of each turn of being offered the Regency. Increased by having good relations to Jin Empire and by having high spirit or wealth alignments. Okay. 
I'm assuming high spirit or wealth alignments means like level four or five or something, so probably irrelevant for me. Um, offered missions awarding large bonuses of to prestige. Permanent will help you accelerate towards victory. Oh, wait, has that always been? The f no, that's only that's new now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, wait, that's Imperial Prince. Oh, we're Grand Prince. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um. Well, I'm a fucking moron. So yeah, now I have a small chance of being uh, offered to Regency. Okay, gotcha. I gotcha. Right, I have a building thing. What are you trying to tell me? Resource required? Yes, I know. I know that, alright? I don't need your fucking ass to tell me that shit, huh? Simulun offering peace again. Uh, only one person's getting... We're, we're not quite there yet. I really would like to get one more town. I think I will even go 2v1 on that time right there. Fanju, who the fuck is that? Who the fan is Fanju? That's you. Probably someone around here, I guess. Fanju, all the way all the way down there. Do you have any ancillaries? You do, actually. How much do you value those? Oh, wow, not very highly. Okay, I'm taking both these ancillaries and joining your war. Sure. Sounds like a good deal to me. Never. <laughs> what if I offer you one food? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, you little bitch. How much money have you got? Oh, fuck me, you're rich as hell, son. You'd give me a lot of money for this, too. But instead, I'll just offer him some food. I have 25. Uh, okay, oh, I can't give him that much. I'm kind of tempted just to... Okay, because 6.4, right? How much would he give me? For joining his war, he'd give me, uh, like, 470. Yeah, that's nice, but I think I'd rather just take 200 bucks. Actually, 156 for 10 food. That's not even that great. But, it, no, it's actually for 5 food, technically. Or, well, not exactly. Um, but, obviously, these two items are 0.1 too much for that. So, I have to... Add in the food, basically, to get some money out of him as well. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's fine. Two ancillaries, that's great. And I'll join a war against some random person. Who I don't even know who the fuck that is, so... I'm probably not messing anything up here. Oh, shit, never mind. I, I am. Uh, oh, fuck, wait. Uh, what do I have with him, though? Fanju. Can I check? Wait. I must have another aggression pack with him. Nope, I'm trading with him. Sorry, this is a really good deal, but I'm trading with that person, unfortunately. That sucks. Man, I got fucking excited about that. Why did I have to be trading with the one fucking person down there who he's declaring war on? There's so many people to declare war on and to ask my help with, and you fucking do it to the one that I don't want to be at war with. Unbelievable. Six grand income now. Servant of the people. I don't know why I decided to take a drink right then when I'm supposed to read stuff. You are a man of the people and well known for it. Your concern for the common folk does you credit. It is unsurprising then that the Empress has turned to you now in her hour of need. Oh shit, I can become the Oh wow. You will gain control of the Emperor. What the fuck? I become highly unpopular. Gain plus 10 spirit. Uh, become regent. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Um, so I gain prestige, which sounds cool, but what if I spurn her? I become highly popular, plus 10 might. Because I get minus 20 which for 10 turns, which is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. But then there's also minus 25. So it's actually minus 45, but 20 of that is going to go away after 10 turns. But, you know, during those 10 turns, I could very easily get declared war on by a bunch of people. And I am... Surprisingly worried about the faction to my south. I will gain control of the Emperor. What does that mean exactly? I almost want to click accept just to see what it does. <sighs> I don't know if I can take the minus 45. All the other factions will like me, but that doesn't really help me that much. I suppose if he declares war on me, I could always recruit an army. I can easily afford another army right now. Easily. In fact, I think I will recruit an army right away, just in case. Um, 
Lacks the power of the Emperor, but has a veneer of legitimacy. Man. I have no idea. This might just fuck up my entire faction, you know. That's what I'm worried about. I got a hundred diplomatic relations with the Jin Empire faction. Yeah, alright. It's time to assume the mantle you were destined for. You accept the offer. Uh, find a new protector. Oh, wait, does it become... Yes, he's over here now. Fallen into the grasp of another prince, who now claims the title of regent. Whoever controls the emperor becomes regent, increasing their prestige and granting diplomatic bonuses. Do I get a better garrison here, too? Uh... No, that's just the standard shit. Okay. Alright, I am now the regent. All bow to me. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to recruit an army. I think I'm going to recruit it right here, in fact, in case he declares war on me. I can afford to have an army. I'm definitely going to get Feng Zhang to lead that one. Ooh, did I see that you like her? Yeah, her, she's actually in here right now, but yeah, I'll get her in there as well. Um, and then who else do we need? Man Hui Rui is liked. She Wei, unfortunately, isn't. Chang Mu, who are you loyal to before? Sima Ai. Well, we're friends with Sima Ai. You're unobservant, which is not great, but it's not the worst thing, to be honest. You're graceful and loyal, which are both really solid. And you are also liked. But are you liked by her as well? Let's find that out. You're not. Damn it. Why'd you have to go and ruin everything now? Also, Tufa Anhui is also not liked. Or actually, Man Hui Ryu, it was. Anyone else here? Kong Wei. There we go. There's a character. Uh, Vane. That kind of sucks. Unobservant. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> He's also 51 years old. How old are you? No, that's not you. How old are you? 27. Yeah, you don't like her, but I guess we can get over that for now. You're pretty good. Shi Wei is currently on assignment. He is... No, that's the other guy's traits. I just can't see this guy's traits right now. Okay, fuck it. Chang Mu, you're being recruited. Well, maybe I'll just hold off on that. Let's recruit you later on. Get these cabin here now. These boys. And now you don't have explosive shot yet. No, you do actually have explosive shots. So why the fuck did we get these guys in here? Having said that, um, I'd just be paying more upkeep if I get that unit right now. Let's get another crossbow unit. I'm basically wasting 343 bucks right now, but I'm making that back by not paying for a trebuchet for until I recruit it. And I can recruit it instantly, and then it, you know, they'll be f almost fully replenished regardless. So what's the point? Also, that's all of my money. Kong Wei. Yeah, I do need to recruit that guy into our faction if I've got the money, which I don't right now, but... And also, lots of buildings that I want to upgrade, but I don't have the money for right now. Right, so I'm, I've got a feeling there's going to be an army in there now. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm laughing, or maybe you've seen it already. I'll get to that in a second. Um... Puyang Yan, you are currently... Yes, you are. You are actually a administrator, so this will actually increase my income somewhere. I do want to go for the ability, of course, but I think I'll do... I'll make a small detour for that. Um, yeah, so what I noticed is that this guy can actually get to you. We know there's an army in there. So I can either take this right now with two armies and then move on to that one, but maybe lose something on in the meantime. Or I move both armies there and then just immediately take him out and then go back for that one. I think it's easier to go here, but it is crazy that we have that movement all the way. Let's attack this with you. Still no one in there. That somehow gave me vision of the other time, what the fuck. So yeah, we could also, alternatively, just siege that out and get this army either to besiege them here or go over here. This army is way more experienced, so I, I would actually be okay with doing that. Um, or just move it into Yi here. But I think I'd rather just move over here, take the town right now. And with luck, I might even still be able to get in there anyway. That barely takes any movement. This guy's got insane movement. I mean, we, I know we've got, like, bonuses from all kinds of shit. Or him, him himself gets, um... 15%, we get an extra something from Might. 15% there as well. So we got some pretty good shit. Uh, he's in range, yeah, it's decisive. We got medium losses still, but I'll uh, do that anyway. It's mostly gonna be on her armor anyway. Yeah. 
I'll keep an eye on that. Yep, sure. Have a look at those as well. You should still be able to get in here. No, you can't. Never mind. That was too much to ask. Although you're fucking close. Okay. Friends. Friends. That town was pretty good, I think I saw. Yeah, good for food. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I don't know what else I'd want. I definitely want the military infrastructure. I never really looked at these buildings anymore. Yeah, there's corruption adjacent provinces reduction as well. That's sort of uh, in actually income as well as well as research rate. And that's more income from all sources, but the downside of that is not worth it. There's no way that building ever gets built anywhere. Uh, this gives more income from industry, but it's only 20%. It's not worth it. Schools are, you know, an idea. I don't need the grain storage. It doesn't give me anything else. So I think for now, I need to remove one building here. The thing is, those buildings, if I remove one of them, the other one becomes useless. This one, if I remove that one, I just keep the 30% trade influence and the other, the income from commerce does nothing. If I remove this one, then this 140% income is just, or 140 income plus the 50% is just that. There's no longer an extra 100%, so you lose a whole bunch of income from that too. So I think I'm going to remove this one for now, build up the inf military infrastructure, and then I'll remove that one and build possibly one of these Confucian temples or something to get my research rate up. But that's all good, man. I can actually recruit you. No, I can't. I'm just shy. But I can recruit you into the faction at least, which I think I'll do just to make sure that we keep you around before someone else picks you up. You're also legendary somehow, even though your stats are nowhere near that. Poacher man. Pa pa poacher man. Oh shit. Oh hey, hey, I hired a character. Oh my god, that mission. I totally forgot about that. Now that we have more people in office, we can actually do this again anyway, so that's a good idea. Construct a grain storage building. That's not, I wasn't going to do that. Settlement administration. Be a war steam balloon. Hey, well. <laughs> we can make that one happen pretty easily, I reckon. Oh wait. We are already at war. How convenient. How very, very convenient. I got so many things over here, my goodness. Right, so all the major factions are gonna start fucking hating me soon. But, I mean, Sima Jong's the only one that's really wor I'm really worried about. Sima Wei, we are big mates with, so that's fine. Sima Liang is all the way in the south with like one town, so whatever. Um, Sima Jong is bordering us, so even over here. So that one I'm a little bit scared about. Sima Ai is all the way down there and we love him too. So I'm not worried about that one too, although that will probably go away, that relationship. Sima Ying is all the way down here, and we're actually pretty good relations with him as well. And Sima Yu is the other one who would be slightly scary because he's over here, but he doesn't seem to be lar very large. Unless he owns like all this stuff and I just can't quite see. We know he owns this one, but not even that. So I'm not sure how worried I am about him specifically. So he owns this. Although it doesn't actually tell me. It's just unknown, even though we do know technically. Anyway, um, any other diplomacy I can do? Anyone want to be my vessel yet? No, fair enough. I understand. Actually, you know what? Just out of curiosity. You'll be oh yeah, it would be an alliance vote. Never mind. Everyone says fucking yes to that when I offer it, but when he offers it, it's like, nah. No way, Jose. Alright. Uh, yep, I know resources required, and I can actually build something here, but it's just a grain storage. Well, I do need to build the building. It costs almost nothing to do. Fuck it, I'll, I'll build it and then remove it again next turn. It's 270 bucks, I mean. Oof, see my eyes. <laughs> very close. I need to fucking take this soon. Before they peace out with him. It'd be very annoying if they do before I take that last town, because then I have to be untrustworthy for a single fucking town. Annex the bastard. I also think I am now actually over the 300 required to become Crown Prince. War, 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 war. Ooh, see my eye is also a Crown Prince now. I vassalized someone immediate. Sorry, immediately. Everyone loves to get vassalized by fucking AI. But me, oh no, that's too difficult. War, 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 peace, 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 peace. Sorry, there's the grain storage building. Uh, ooh, to the point. Whilst you are a fair ruler, it is said by some that you are overly direct and often blunt to the point of rudeness. 
What the fuck did you just say to me? This approach has alienated some of the nomadic tribes in your territories who chafe at your demands for their men and horses. You can lessen their burden or I can do tribal requisitions. Upkeep cost reduction for calf, recruitment cost reduction for calf. I just recruited four calf, are you kidding me? Uh, minus five noble support, faction wide. Plus I get might. Might or mind? Mind, I can get up to the next level. Ooh, ammunition faction wide, that's pretty beast. Uh, yeah. Might's actually gonna be very close. It's actually quite close already to minus five faction support, faction wide. Yeah, those negatives are pretty big. I wanna take the less than the burden. Harmony in your coalition is most important. Sure. Right, whenever I build that, um... I don't know where the fuck I just did that. Here, get out of here. You're out of here! Oath Swarm will see my eye for diplomacy. Holy shit. If you were to join my faction... I mean, that's not gonna happen, obviously, but... Uh, although, yeah, my faction leader probably would be dead before that even possibly would happen. Another one of those books. Yo, you haven't actually got anything yet. I need to equip you and the other guy as well. Actually, you've got this thing to keep you happy, I guess. Wow, I can definitely switch that. Give that to her if I need to keep some people happy. Also, yeah, make sure we keep that satisfaction high, I guess. Um, Alright, back to you, though. No. To you. To me. Plus four. Sure. Alright. You put a fucking intellectual robe on them. Intellectual vestures, I believe. Um, they just instantly become so much more smart looking, don't they? Let's take this shitty robe. It's like some peasant. And, ha! I am very important. You can see by the clothes that I wear. Uh, I demolished the build. Right, yes, this is the place where we're going to build other buildings. So first of all, I want the military infrastructures, and I'm also going to demolish this. Reduce that upkeep. I don't want it. And I think I want to get that up to level 3 as well. So go ahead and do that. And I do have some... I mean, I have lots of shit to build still, but I also want to recruit that guy into this army now. Yeah, I guess I'm not in that much of a rush to do that. Let's hold off on that. I mean, that plus the garrison would be okay if we get attacked. Plus, we're not getting attacked anyway, so... Right, could you reach this town? In Force March, you could. Alright, let's go besiege it then. Hello. Um, yeah. Oh, unless he has night battle. Hold on, I should check that. Uh, yeah, continue the siege. What's the garrison like? Yeah, still the same massiveness. Wunderbar. They have an eye battle available. Well, that kind of sucks. Man, I'm never going to be able to get anything good out of this then. They'll all, always just do that. Unless I try and ambush them in both directions, leaving the town. I kind of want to replenish this army, but the replenishment is pr pretty meh. We probably have better bonuses now for certain people being in charge, actually. Uh, No, no we don't. Not at all, actually. Alright, maybe it's just this town that gives me shit replenishment. Let's go over here. No. It's the fucking same. It's worse there. Well, fuck. <laughs> I should have known it was going to be worse outside the town. Um, Right, what are we going to build? I want to build some buildings. Well, what else would you build, you fucking idiot? Let's upgrade that. And that. Alright. Um, look at all this fucking shit going on here. This is mad. Alright, oh, I was gonna check. Yeah, I am actually well on my... Oh my god, how did I... Oh, right, because I'm region now. I was gonna say, I just skipped from fucking 300, barely, to 400. Yeah, that red thing is, is gone now, so I do wonder if you could actually lose your rank again. Maybe that was going to happen. Right, well, if I don't run you in range, they're definitely... I mean, replenishment is horrible anyway, so yeah, let's just run over here. That way, at least I'm in range, so if they don't night battle it, I have my second army there. They're not going to surrender, ever, so... No point trying that. I mean, I, I am assuming they're going to night battle, but if they don't, at least I've got these guys here too. Although they are mostly dead, but it will help. I think either way I'll probably take the battle. 
那就去死。Well, I'm rejecting still. 无礼。Uh, yep, sniper battle. Right, my arm is a bit wounded. They got a trebuchet, but no explosive shot. It's the fact that they've got this large of a garrison. It is mostly trash, but this garrison is actually not bad. They've got some crossbows too. Um. Oh fucking yeah, these guys got only one experience because I've just replaced the cataphracts. Ugh, poor timing on that. Do I fight it? If I don't, they'll just attack this army actually. So I kind of, I kind of blocked myself in here. Uh, I did just realize the time, so I guess I'll fight this one next time. Yeah, if I, if I were to retreat, they'd probably just come out and attack her and force march down. She wouldn't be able to run away. They still night battle it, and she would. This army would be dead. So I have to fight this one actually, and I have to win it too. I fucked myself, but that's okay, because I reckon we can win this one without... Well, it's going to be tough, but we can win it. And the next turn, hopefully, we can just out of the battle. Uh, and if we do win it, they will also take attrition alongside the fact that they lose the battle, of course. So, Yeah, we're going to have to fight this one. And just We're just going to have to win it. It's not a problem. You know, we just, it's, it's what we do. We win every battle. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Next time, with this battle, that's going to be likely very difficult. But it's going to be okay. Until then, have a good day, and goodbye.